it's definitely not easy. Um, going from just having a great time with each other, being sisters, and also having like other sisterly issues. On top of that, trying to have a working professional relationship. Um, it's definitely great. I know Susan so well. I know what she's great at. Also, what you know she has to work upon. Her weaknesses, I guess you could say. Challenges. Challenges, Challenges. Um, that I help her through. Uh, to be politically correct. Um, so it's about knowing what, how we like to work and working together, and making sure we highlight the the great things about each other and support each other when um, we're not so good at doing something. And I think for me, it's important to have that separate sister time that's non-chocolate so that we're able to connect together and be sisters, right? And then there's also the very focused business time, our meeting time, which we talk about business. So we have to make sure we have that time together, that time for business, and then also separate time. And, and it's, it's good to come up with, or it's good to have arguments, but it's also very important to talk through those and make sure we understand why we felt a certain way and how we got to some resolution. And that's something that as we get older we understand and are work better at working on as opposed to previously where you know we may be like, I just don't want to talk to you anymore, we just walk away. We, we now know that we need to work through these issues quickly and efficiently. So, so to sum that up, that was um, separation between work and play, but also um, I'm kind of a hippie. <laughs> that's okay. And um, you know, oftentimes we'll do intentions uh, before production or having a meeting. Like, hey, wait, stop. The world's going by so fast. How can we, you know, be more in control and be more, you know, creators in our own space? I have this sign that I put up in my bathroom, you know, are you, are you flying or are you, are you being blown? And so I think it's important to really open that space of communication. I mean, quarterly, we will just do a lot of releasing about like, hey, what are we excited about, not excited about, and frustrated about, and mad about, and just do that releasing. I mean, it's definitely an asset to know each other so well and be so loyal to each other, but also, what Wendy was alluding to is like, it's complex relationships that are, have been ingrained for like, for me anyways, 25 years. <laughs> so, I'm younger. So, I mean, the point of the matter is, is just, you know, how do you, how do you, continue to love people, but also um, do a project together. Because no matter what, you're going to always have external deadlines that are affecting your relationship. So we have to have practice authentic communication. And also now when we start seeing our habits on how we react towards each other, then we're saying, okay, next time that happens, we're going to do this, this, and this and stick to it. So mm -hmm. it's kind of trying to be really proactive with someone you love. So that's what I... That's the advice I'd give.